And I'm so excited for this doll chat because today I have some awesome Monster High Toy Fair news to show you. So Toy Fair was over the weekend and I unfortunately didn't get to go, but there was some awesome stuff which I'm going to talk about right now. Starting off, we have the Monster High families. This is the official lineup. You've got Claudine and her family, then Laguna and her sisters, and then the set is Draculaura, her dad, and she also has a little sister, which I actually didn't know about. I didn't know uh, Draculaura had a little sister. Um, so the littlest sisters are going to come in their own sets, and they each have a cute little accessory, uh, actually a few little accessories with them. So here is one of Laguna's sisters. She's so cute. And she has a tail, which I find very interesting because uh, Laguna doesn't have a tail. And they don't seem to have arm articulation. I'm not sure about their knees, though. I think that they can bend their knees. So here's Claudine's little sister. She's so cute. I love her hair. And then here is Laguna and Kelpie. You guys remember Kelpie from Great Scary Reef? I wish they gave Laguna articulation, though. That would have been a much improved set then. And then here's Draculaura and her dad in the Vampire Kitchen. This is a cute set. I actually like it. And this is the second time we're getting a parent of the monster. And there's going to be a YouTube series called Adventures of the Ghoul Squad. It's all about the monsters and their families. And it's going to be a total of 40 minutes. That's all the episodes or webisodes, and I think it's going to be really cute. And I love the artwork of Laguna's mom there. And now it's time for some Garden Ghouls. So Garden Ghouls is actually going to be a movie coming in this fall, in September, I believe. And that's really cool, because we didn't get any news about this before. I just thought it was going to be some random dolls. Um, so the main doll here is Teresa Thornwillow. And I really like her makeup. It's so pretty. And she has a cool feature where her wings can open and close up. And there are some videos of it. And here is a look at her pretty face. I really like her face. I'm so happy she doesn't have the smiling face because I prefer the regular faces to the smiling ones. And here's a look at her curly hair. Really pretty. I like that pink color. And she kind of reminds me of uh, the villain in The Legend of Everfree, My Little Pony movie. And this whole line kind of reminds me of the movie, so comment below if you know what I'm talking about. And here are the uh, pixies of the forest. I'm not sure if they're called pixies here, but they remind me of the Ever After High pixies. And they're really cute. And here are the three Garden Ghouls dolls. I've got Torelai, Twyla, and Cleo, and I love that they all have wings. They look like fairies. And I love that Torelai has some crimped hair, and that we're getting a Torelai. This is great, and another Twyla. Awesome. Now it's time to look at some of the statistics, because that's what Toy Fair is really about, showing how the sales are going. So Monster High has been doing worse um, from 2012 to 2015, which is why they did the reboot, and when this came out, of course, everybody freaked out and thought that Monster High was ending, and then Monster High confirmed that it's just another rumor. Monster High does have lots of freaky fab new stuff for many years to come because Monster High is awesome, guys, so it's not ending. Don't worry. And now let's go back into some dolls. Just wanted to clarify the rumor. So here is the fall Amazon exclusive. Um, she's going to be just like the Skeleta and Draculaura. And this time it's Abby, which is awesome because I love Abby. I really like her dress and I love the hair. I really like crimped hair and I like that Monster High is doing this now. And she hopefully will have good quality hair. The only thing I don't love is the eyebrows that they gave her. Kind of look like they're dripping. I don't know, I'm not the big fan of that, but everything else is awesome. Love this hair. And check out the new Monster High gummies. These are the Kellogg's Monster High themed gummies. <laughs> they seem like they're going to be really cute. So if you like gummies, then these are for you. <laughs> and let's take a look at some minis, because what would a doll chat be if it didn't have minis? <laughs> so here is a exclusive Draculaura that you can only get with this little playset. Looks really cute. I think this is like the Monster High High School. I'm not sure. 
And here are some of the new minis. I think this is season three. I'm not 100% sure though. So I did show you guys some of these before. So I have seen the electrified Venus and then the new Nephra and Claude and stuff. And uh, Meowlity and Gulia. So happy Gulia's back. So you can look back at a previous doll chat for those. And then here are just some close-ups of the ones I have yet to see. Sorry about the poor quality of the photos. This Frankie looks really cool. Her hair looks almost like whipped cream to me. Like somebody just put whipped cream on her head and then drew the lightning bolt. And look at this adorable Garden Ghouls Twyla. I love that she has wings. The wings make them look so much cuter. And she has a new hair mold. I love it when they change those up. And this is my last thing. This is the deluxe bus, where it's not, you don't get all these dolls with it, but you can fit that many dolls into it, and that's cool. Alright guys, so that brings me to the end of this awesome doll chat. I'm so happy with all of the new stuff coming out, and comment below, tell me what you are most excited for, and if you went to Toy Fair. I think I'm most excited for the Garden Ghouls, but I also really love those minis. That's going to be a tough choice there. Lots of new stuff in store. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.